Brett, thank you. As we keep ourselves and our homes safe from the cold temperatures this week, let's not overlook our furry friends. Our Jesus Martinez spoke to some animal lovers here in East Texas about how we could keep our four-legged friends warm. I'll just get her dressed up for her walk. Angel is like family to Kylie Neal. She's cuddly, she's sweet, she gives the cutest little kisses. I love her so much. <laughs> And it's that love that Kylie has for Angel that this cute puppy is all dressed up for her walk. Because it's dangerous out there. I don't want them to freeze to death. As we expect sub freezing temperatures in East Texas later this week, our pets are of concern when keeping them safe and warm from the elements. A concern that is now law to provide adequate shelter to dogs and cats. The definition of adequate requires the animal to stay dry. It needs uh, a side, four sides or three sides and a roof, a floor, um, out of the wind, out of the cold, uh, and, and out of the elements. Elements local shelters are also fighting against, like the Athens Animal Rescue Shelter. Just six weeks ago, they were fighting Mother Nature's wrath of a tornado, and today they're facing freezing temperatures. The tarps blew off immediately. So uh, but with the cold weather, hopefully we've doubled the tarps and we have heating lamps in there and that's the plan to keep those guys warm in there. Come here, baby. And if your pet has to stay outside, Monica Allen, executive director of the Athens Animal Rescue Shelter, says to use hay for warmth. Another way to assist the shelter is by fostering. Anytime we can get a foster to foster an animal for even a few days in this cold would be a great, great help fostering them like family. So they're like families, so why wouldn't they be inside? In Athens, Jesus Martinez, CBS 19. Jesus, thanks for that report. If you can't have your pets inside, there are heated dog houses for outdoors and the Longview Animal Care Center is giving away hay for extra warmth now through Thursday from 12 to 4. We'll have other helpful links on our website, cbs19.tv.